Grade 5 Math, number 8.4, Fraction and Whole Number Division by Multiplication. I've got two rules for you. First, let's go over this. When we divide a whole number by a fraction, so the whole number is first, it's the dividend. The quotient is larger than the dividend. When we divide a fraction by a whole number, the fraction's first, it's the dividend. The quotient is smaller than the dividend, than the fraction, okay? So I want you to picture when the whole number is first, then the quotient, the answer is going to be bigger than this. When the fraction's first, the quotient, the answer is going to be smaller than this, okay? I also want you to remember that a reciprocal is a fraction that has been flipped upside down. The reciprocal for one-third is 3 over 1, and when they multiplied together, they equal 1. You'd have 3 over 3, see, which would equal 1. And it's pronounced reciprocal, all right? It's a fraction that we turn upside down, okay? Not one that's been turned upside down on its own, that we turn upside down. When we see 1 third divided by 4, most books would have you write it like this, 1 third times 1 fourth. See, this 1 fourth is really the reciprocal of 4. Because 4 can be written as 4 over 1. A lot of math books and math teachers say, when you see 1 third divided by 4, we want you to write it as 1 third times 1 fourth because we flipped the, the 4 over 1 upside down to be its reciprocal, to be this way. But I don't want you to think of it this way. Don't turn it into a reciprocal. Don't do this. If you want your life to be easier, just put the numerator up here and consider this denominator and this whole number as the new denominator, okay? If you think of it my way, you're going to answer your math a lot quicker, okay? But this is what it means. If you had one-third and you divided it into four parts, here we have a green bar that is split into thirds. Here's one-third of the green bar. Then we split that one-third into four parts. See? If we split the other ones into four parts, there would be 12 parts. That means that one-third divided by four would be broken up into little one-twelfth parts. See? Each of these would be a twelfth. So the answer is one-twelfth. So now can you see why my way makes more sense? You could flip this and make the reciprocal and multiply straight across, but my way is a little quicker. You just do 1 over 3 times 4, and you've got your answer, okay? So here's what I want you to remember for this one, okay? When you see a fraction divided by a whole number, think of it as the numerator over the denominator times the whole number, okay? Think of it this way. Anytime you see a fraction divided by a whole number where the fraction's first, okay, and it's the dividend, and the whole number is the divisor. So you're thinking, oh my gosh, how am I going to split this tiny little one-third into four parts? Think of it as the numerator on top of the denominator and the whole number, and just do your multiplication, okay? This will even work if this is a mixed number. If the fraction is a mixed number, just convert it into an improper fraction first. So if you had 1 and 1 third divided by 4, turn the 1 and 1 third into 4 thirds because 1 times 3 is 3 plus the 1 is 4, so be 4 thirds. And then do 4 thirds divided by 4, put the 4 on top as the numerator, and put the 3 four, and the 4 down below. Do your multiplication, and what are you going to get? You're going to get 4 over 12, and that needs to be reduced, doesn't it? How many times can 4 go into 12? 1 4 goes into 12 three times, and our answer is a third. That's what the answer would be for this one. We did the exact same thing, but the first thing is we had to turn this into an improper fraction, okay? So it works, even if you have an improper fraction. When the fraction is first, Think of it as the numerator over the denominator times the whole number, okay? That's our first rule. So if you could write that into your notes, it would be very helpful for you 
when you go to do your work, okay? But we're going to do another one of these again, okay? Now we've got the whole number first. We've got a 6 divided into 1 fourth. That means we've got 6 bars divided into 1 fourth parts, see? That's going to create 24 parts. So when you see the whole number first, just think of it as the whole number times the denominator, and you've got your answer. It's that fast. 6 divided by 1 fourth is the same thing as 6 times 4. It equals 24. See that? And that goes with our rule, our orange rule up here, that when the whole number is first, the quotient is larger than the dividend. See? The 24 is larger than the 6. And our purple rule, that when the fraction is first, the quotient is smaller than the dividend. Look it. Here's the fractions first, and the quotient is smaller. 1 12th is way tinier than 1 3rd. See? Fraction first, quotient smaller than the dividend. Whole number first, quotient's larger than the dividend. See? So if you can write this into your notes as rule number two, this is going to help you when you divide fractions. When the whole number is first, you multiply it as the whole number times the denominator. When the whole number is first, you just multiply it as the whole number times the denominator. See? Whole number times the denominator. Okay? Here's rule number one again. We have one-third divided by two. What does that mean? All right, well, we have our green bar, and it's split into thirds. So this big green area is one-third of the green bar. See? Well, it says to divide that third into two. So I did. I split it into two pieces. If I split all of the parts into two pieces, there's going to be six parts, and half of this third is going to be one-sixth. So what I did was, I put the numerator on top, and I multiplied the denominator by the whole number. And I got one-sixth. See? One-third divided by two. This is the old way. You can still do, you know, one times six. You know, one times one and three times two to get the six. But it's a lot easier to just think of one as the numerator, and the denominator times the whole number as the new denominator, see? And all they did was, they turned this into a fraction, and then they made a reciprocal of it. And that's how they got that. My way is much quicker. Alright, so the rule for number one again is, when the fraction is first divided by a whole number, just think of it as that fraction's numerator over the denominator times the whole number, okay? So here's number two again, no, rule number two again. Three divided by a half. All it means is the whole number times the denominator. The whole number times the denominator. If you've got three bars and you cut them in half, you're going to have six parts. Three divided by a half is really just three times two. See? When the whole number is first divided by a fraction, just multiply the whole number times the denominator. See? When the whole number is first, you just multiply the whole number times the denominator. Okay? Make sure you remember to reduce and simplify your fractions to their lowest terms, or the, even though you did it right, it could be marked wrong because you just didn't quite simplify or reduce them enough, okay? It's really important. So, those are my two rules for doing division with whole numbers and fractions. Make a note of them. Try to remember them. They're going to help you divide fractions very quickly, okay? You might even be able to do it mental math. If you saw this one, you could do it mental math really quick, see? All right. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.